that's better than Hennessy Patron in that great goose to get him loose. <sighs> nah, let me stop playing with you. This ain't no joking video today. <laughs> this ain't no joking video today. But for real, this is a this is a summer um reflection. I know the summer isn't over. We halfway through, but sometimes it's it's good to go back in your past and reflect on what you just experienced in order to know where you're going. You know what I mean? Sometimes good to just sit down, buckle down, get off Twitter, get off Facebook, MySpace, whatever you want to call, and just focus on yourself. Focus on your own mind, your own heart, and just block everything out and just reflect, reflect, reflect. So this is my summer reflection. I just want to reflect on our generation. You know what I mean? I want to reflect on our generation. People, really pay attention to this video and um, hear what I got to say. First and foremost, I'm in my quiet zone, my quiet room. I'm in the library. As you can see the books right there, I just turned in a 12-page paper and I present it in the class. But afternoon, gentlemen. Come on now, y'all can do better than that. The Lord started us on our way today, gave us brand new mercies and brand new grace. Y'all can do better than that. I said good afternoon. All right, today I'll be reading my literary criticism on The Heroic Slave by Frederick Douglass. I am no coward. Liberty I will have or die in the attempt to gain. It is visible throughout Madison Washington's quest for freedom that he gained knowledge, applied the knowledge, and he knew how to work within the structures of his society to ensure his success. I feel like I did a great job, you know what I mean? To, uh, God, to God be the glory. Um, uh, in two hours, I got to catch a flight out to New Mexico um, to, to film some projects and to work with my girl Hope Harris. I got a blog with hers on applebox.com. If you haven't been on the blog, go check out the blog, all right? Um, Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, I want to holler at you about something. First and foremost, I appreciate you for putting that uh that um that video on your on your web page, uh, on your website, www.soldierboytellem.com. Y'all y'all go check it out. I appreciate that. But I just wanna uh touch touch bases with you real quick, man. That little whole little situation you got going on with new boys, new boys saying this and then you coming back, don't even start it. You feel me? I, I remember Bow. Bow told you the same thing. He said, focus on your music, man. Focus on your music. Stay focused, man. And and, and let's, people, this to everybody. All this energy we be putting in, trying to beef and do this with other people, it's taken away from our craft. It's taken away our, for our passion. We could be using that energy to put towards better things, you know what I mean? To make it more platinum records or more box office films, you know? So stay focused on what you got to do, man, you know? It's just everybody going to have different philosophies, man. Look at W.E.D. Du Bois. Look at W.E.D. Du Bois. Look at Booker T. Washington. Brilliant. Brilliant minds. But had two different philosophies and were clashing all the time. You feel me? Booker T. Washington, like, look, check this out. Segregation they want, we going to give them segregation. Y'all do y'all thing, we do our thing. Ain't nobody hating y'all, this and that. But we going to build up our community. We going to get the wealth and do what we got to do. And then one day y'all going to respect this. Booker, uh, W.E.D. Du Bois, like, look, check this out. You basically praising oppression. You basically saying it's okay to oppress us. No, that ain't okay. But basically conflict. Look at Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Malcolm X, like, by any means necessary. Martin Luther King, like, no, nah, we shall overcome. Let's peace. Let's have peace, baby. Two great men, great minds, different philosophies. So it's okay to have different philosophies. So that's one point I want to touch base. Next subject, we're we, we, we going to keep it moving. I don't want to have y'all along, all right? Um, Facebook. I was on Facebook the other day, and I saw my relative. I go over there trying to check up on you. You got you big 60 cripping. You know what I mean? All up on your profile pic. I go through the rest of your pictures, you just, boom, got the, boom, got the, just straight. Don't get me wrong. You know, I done did what I did, and, you know, I may got one or two pictures where you see me with my hands, but, boom, look, check out the picture. You see me, I'm throwing up where I was born and raised, where I'm from, and I'm right with my relative, where he's from, and it's showing you that, yeah, a Blackstone and the 60 can come together and get that cash together. You feel me? So I'm trying to put out the positive message the wrong time. I said that's right or that's wrong. But understand that Lil, Lil Wayne wasn't lying. Lil Wayne wasn't lying when he said, The cops is watching, the streets is talking. So make sure y'all watch what y'all what y'all put on because keep it real. Keep it, I'm, I'm man, I'm going to keep it real with you. That ain't gangster. Simple as that. That ain't gangster. You want to know who the real gangsters are out here right now? 
The biggest gangsters in America. I'm gonna keep it real. The biggest gangster. I just got through reading this book. The biggest gangsters in America is what? Was what? L A P D. Look here, I got your boy OJ just sitting up there. You feel me? These are the biggest gangsters in America right now. Alright? If y'all don't believe me, go look at my um video. Um, go to www.youtube.com forward slash Ezekiel Phillips and go look at LAPD Crash's block party. You wanna know who, who a real gangster is? Who used this brain? Just got through reading this book. Don King, only in America. Go read his story and see how he got in. So yeah, relative, you know what I'm talking about, man. Man, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. So that's all I want to do, man. I just want to take touch bases with that. But look, I got a, I got a flight to catch in about another hour and a half or something like that. So y'all do y'all thing. Y'all be blessed. And um, talk to me.